Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas, or Disastermus as I decided to call it. It's day 7, 7th of December, day 7 of Vlogmas. As you saw yesterday, it was a Santa Claus craft. <laughs> I'm very stressed about the crafting. Here he is. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. One of you did notice that one of his chimes hangs from his crotch. I'm not sure why they designed it that way. Um, I didn't design the damn thing, that's all I'm saying. He's um, he's unique. He's lost the bobble off his hat already and one of the bits off his boots. So my, my PVA glue didn't really last very long, did it? Fingers crossed there's something easier, better or, or that I don't have to do in today's craft one. Let's open that first. Let's uh, try and get some of the bad news out of the way. <laughs> Day seven of Craftmas. Where are we? It's amazing how difficult it is to find these doors. Anybody think I didn't want to do them? Here it is. Okay. Okay. It's a jigsaw. Oh, I've never been so pleased to see a tiny jigsaw in my life. <laughs> it's a jigsaw. It's a jigsaw. Thank you, universe, for the little jigsaw. It's going to be a little Christmassy jigsaw. Footage of me achieving. I can achieve this. I uh, as long as all the pieces are there. I said I should probably not speak too soon, but provided this is how it should be, I can achieve a small jigsaw. Footage of that coming at the end. Thank you. Okay. Let's do a Reese's. A Reese's is another safe bet. Where are we? Day seven for Reese's. There you are. Fingers crossed for a traditional Reese's. It's a traditional Reese's. Today's going so well. Yay for my traditional Reese's. Hurrah! Hurrah! I'm loving this calendar. I'm loving today. Something which we know is good. Something which we know we're always pleased with. Day seven of the Advent of Change calendar, the charity calendar. Today's charity is The Listening Place. This is a really strong one. This says today you have provided a hot drink for 10 people who feel that life is no longer worth living, helping them to feel more at ease ahead of their face-to-face -face support session. That's a massive one. That's, that's such a strong charity. As always, I will link the charity for today in the description box below so that if you want to go and check them out and maybe make a small donation you're able to obviously i understand that most people these days are counting the pennies but if you are in a position to help out one of these charities and you'd like to know the link they'll be in the box speaking of the box the powers that be at youtube have moved the description box a few weeks ago now maybe a couple of months but i've noticed that some people are struggling to find it so underneath every video will be the title of the video underneath that in smaller writing it will say the how many days it's been up it'll say how many people uh, how many views it's had and how many days it's been up and then next to that the word more when you click on more that's when your description box will appear that's looking at it on a phone i'm not sure if it's slightly different on a desktop if it's if it's different on a desktop we'll talk about that tomorrow but that's looking at it on your phone app you need to click the word more and the descriptions box will drop down from there I emailed the people who I bought this monstrosity from, never has monstrosity been a truer word, and said this is not what I bought. One of you guys very kindly mentioned in the comments that your son had had a look and there were three options you could select from and that I had apparently selected the wrong one. They have definitely 100% changed that listing since I purchased mine. The writing is completely different, you know, the, the title of the item, I'll click on my orders and click through, the title is different, there are now three options and one of them does appear to contain different stuff to mine. The picture for this one does not show the contents of this one. So I've emailed them and said, this is not what I expected to get. I think it's really poor quality and I think it's very misleading. And they've offered a 50% refund with no need to return. So since we've opened it and, and we're, and some people are enjoying, some people are at least enjoying the disaster that it is. I've decided to keep it and keep going. But I've also ordered another Roger Laborde calendar. Roger Laborde are the people who made the tree calendar for last year, which I had. Again, so much fun building. So I've ordered another one of those, slightly easier one, I hope. So we'll have another advent calendar joining the throng when that one arrives in the post. In the meantime, in day seven today, we've got another dodgy looking bloke with a knife. I don't know who he is. Maybe one of you will recognise him. I had a lot of comments saying one of the other guys was Mike Myers the other day. So Michael Myers? Mike Myers is an actor, isn't he? So Michael Myers. I don't watch horror films. So will you please focus? So that didn't really mean much to me. So here's today's dude. He's got a white face, a blue boiler suit or overcoat or whatever, and he's carrying an unpleasant knife. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, shush, Siri. 
He's carrying an unpleasant knife, so does anybody recognise him? He most certainly doesn't pop up in A Nightmare Before Christmas, but we've established that none of them do, haven't we? We've established that they all appear to be horror movie characters and they've had no business writing Tim Burton on the front of it whatsoever. Let's have a look in Sharon's box. I did rummage and put it near the top so that I wouldn't have to stand up and search. Here's day seven. This is a book. I know books, but I've felt many books in my life. This is a book. What has Sharon sent me? Okay, it's The Last Train to Scarborough. Jim Stringer, Steam Detective. The best railway sleuth there is. I have never read any books by Andrew Martin. The back says, said she, pulling her glasses all the way down her face. It is March 1914 and Jim Stringer is uneasy about his new assignment. It's not so much the prospect of a Scarborough lodging house in the gloomy off-season that bothers him, or even the fact that the last railman, railway meant to stay in the house has disappeared without a trace. Dum, dum, dum. It's more that his chief inspector seems to be deliberately holding back details of the case, and that Jim has been sent out with a trigger-happy assistant. As a storm brews in Scarborough, it becomes increasingly unlikely that Jim will ever ride the train back to York. That sounds good. I will enjoy that. As you guys know, I love a murder mystery. I like a period mystery. I love anything from Golden Age of Crime and stuff like that. I don't know when this was written, but it's certainly set in Edwardian times. So 2009 this was written, apparently. So I will definitely enjoy that. Thank you very much, Sharon. A hit, as always. I'm going to make my jigsaw. Footage of me making my jigsaw. I feel, feel strong and confident about my jigsaw. I expect that the end picture of me at the end of this video will be a smiley face for once instead of the disastrous face that you've been seeing. Footage of that coming up now. Thank you as always for joining me for today's Vlogmas. I'll be back tomorrow with more of whatever this is and hopefully the new calendar will have arrived by then. If not we'll just plough onwards until it comes. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. I think I'm cursed. I think I might actually be cursed. Hang on while I find something flat to put this on. This is the lid from another jigsaw, bear with. I'm officially cursed. As I picked it up to show you guys, I dropped it and had to make it again. But as you can see, there are two pieces missing. I did that. I did that, not by losing the pieces, but by saying, providing all the pieces are here, it's gonna be fine. See you tomorrow. <laughs>